your holy name thank you jesus glory to your name thank you father oh be lifted above all the gods we lay us down and worship you Lifted, oh, be lifted above, above all the We lay, we lay a crown and worship, and worship. Don't be distracted. Say, we're believed. Praise of faith, oh, it up, Lord. Lord. We lay a ground, we lay a ground, and we're and we're in the Some have come to just sing, or some have come to see how the choir will sing. But I tell you, beyond all of that, can you lift the name of the Most High God high? Can you just just concentrate and just look at the lyrics of the song? It says, "Be lifted above every other God, as we lay our crown to worship You." Can you say, "Oh, be lifted, Set up of my troubles, set up of my riches, Lord. to think what do you think is the most precious things you have is it your wife your job your riches your wealth your house what do you have that god is not beyond and that is the word we are saying in the lyrics of that song that lord be lifted up above everything that i've ever acquired and if you think it is the opposite you have troubles trials can you say god be lifted above everything that is troubling me as i lay my crown before you can you just sing with me as we sing it together to the most high God? Say, oh, believe that. Oh, believe Oh, glorious God, we 
Praise your name. microphone it's like just two people are singing are you sure hey one more time I'll give you the opportunity to sing to God say you are God without the mic say we can do better Do you have a place for argument? Can you join us with a mic say? You are God. You are God. Allah bada ino. Allah watele o. Baba mi o. Allah bara. Allah bara ni mu. Allah bara o. One more time. Somebody say, what has he done to you? You called forth. You called forth. I was, I was, I was in darkness. darkness. And you say, you don't need a man. You don't need a man to be the one you are. Yeah, you have chosen, you have chosen to call me your redemption say you are God alone Jesus This is the last one. Forevermore. Glory to the one who saved my soul. 
Is somebody saved here? Hallelujah. Forever. Somebody says, Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We celebrate you for what you've been covering. to the one that saved you and I celebrate your redemption hallelujah hallelujah meta otorara august hallelujah meje oma for you hallelujah meta otorara yeah hallelujah meje koma for you Hallelujah, meta, hallelujah, meta, otorara. Sape meje ko poju. Hallelujah, meje owa. Hallelujah, meta, hallelujah, meta, otorara. Meje ko poju. Hallelujah, meje owa. Se forenti baba, forenti baba she. Minu wa ye. Hallelujah, meje owa. My lifetime, somebody say, I will give you my lifetime. In my praise and my dance, my lifetime, my, my life. Say, I will give you. Say, he will give God. He will give God my life. As I dance to you, Lord, you will take care of me. If I give God my life, if I give God my dancing, He will take care of me. He will never, never, oh, He will never, never let me die. I will give God my life. Hey, I want you to dance, and you say, If I give God my dancing, He will not let my foot to be moved. Like David, hey, he will never, never let me down. No, no, no. I will give God my dancing. If I give God my dancing, if I give God my dancing, he will take care of me. He will take care of me. Somebody dance to the Lord. He will never, never let me down. I will give God my dancing. So I say. The spirit of the Lord is upon my life. Oh, I will dance and be there. Somebody dance to the Lord like David dance. Let's see the David dance. Can't you dance like David? Hey, oh yeah. The spirit of the Lord is upon my life. Oh.
dance and dance and dance and dance and dance. We no see be. Break it down. We no see be like we. Anna see hallelujah. Hey, Anna see hallelujah. Jehovah Beli wo, Beli wo be my see. For God, some people are forming for God. They cannot dance. They cannot dance. Let me see the people that that are forming for God. What you they do like say you know Sabi my God. Abi you know this. Hey, let me see your dance. Come on. You can do better. Oh yeah, check 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 check. Hey, you can dance to him. Those that know their God, they will be like Mount Zion. They will not be moved because they know who they serve. Hey, say what you they do like? Say you know, say be my God. I be you know, no say. If you love me, my God, you go shake your body. I be you know, no say. Hey, I be, I be somebody. I be that your neighbor. Tell your neighbor. Break it down. Wait. You will find a dancing partner. Look at the person eyeball to eyeball. Look at your neighbor. You will know your neighbor if he's Abi. Say Abi, Abi. Tell your neighbor Abi, Abi, Abi. You know no say the over na go. Abi, you know no say. If you serve me, my God, you go shake your body. I mean, if you serve me, my God, you go rub a wale lele lele. You do this, boy amale, 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 boy amale. Your God is good. Can you celebrate? Hey, my God is good. Oh. 
done since January to this time. What has God done for you? Say, He lifts me up. When God, when He lifts you, then He hits it with something. He turns me around. Can you turn around for the miracles of God in your life? Look and check, look and check. See everything is working. Oh yeah, say, He turns me around. Jesus said, He set my feet. Solid rock. I feel like jumping. Only the healthy can jump. Only the healthy can jump. Only the healthy can jump. I feel like jumping. Let me see your jump. 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 Only the healthy can jump. I feel like that. This one is a prophetic. Break it down. This one is a prophetic one. Oh my God, carry me the go. Everybody. Oh my God, carry me the go. What you have seen from January till now is nothing. But before this year ends, you will see something great. That is why you will sing that song that my God carry me the go. Are you ready? Where are you going? Greta. Oh my God, carry me. The go. Everybody. Oh my God, carry me the go. Anywhere, anywhere better day. Carry me the go. Hey, anywhere better day. Carry me the go. To make you bigger, so when you are can relate that you are going bigger, you will say bigger. We are going bigger. You are going bigger. You are going bigger, 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 bigger. Very big, exceedingly big. Wait. Some people are earning fifty thousand now, but before the end of this year, you will be counting millions. Are you ready? So if that is your portion, you will say you are going bigger. You are going bigger. And you put your hands bigger. bigger. You are going bigger, 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 bigger. Every day. Wait, wait. Some people they have overtaken you from January till now. But it's your time to overtake. And so you are going to be faster than your enemies. And you will say you are going faster. Faster, faster. Are you ready? Say, we are going faster. Somebody is going faster. You are going faster, faster, faster. faster, faster, faster. Hey. Every day, every day, every day. Break it down. Wait. Somebody is going higher. Because you are going to be promoted to the next level. That is beyond that place. So you will say you are going higher. Hey, you are going higher. Let me see your higher. For the rest of this year again, so you are going stronger and stronger and stronger. So if that is your portion, you will say I'm going stronger. Say I am going. I am going. Stronger. I am going. Stronger. I am going. Stronger, 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 stronger. Every day,
let me tell you, something is working for you. So you will say that chains are breaking for your sake. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Chains are breaking for your sake. Say, chains are only for my sake. Chains are only for my sake. is working for your sake. Are you ready? Okay. Chains of only for my sake. Chains of only for my sake. The word of God is working for you. Is he walking? 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 Children of God. Children of God. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah to the Lord five times. The one that God has lifted. Can you lift your hands to the lifter? Hallelujah. 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 I'm glad you are so excited this morning. Because our God is a good God. Our God is a faithful God. Today is the first day in the month of August. The mercy of God has kept every one of us for seven good months. The Lord has been faithful to you and I. The Lord has been your strength. He has been my strength. The Lord has shown himself as the almighty in your life and in my life. And God has done something great for us even in this church today. Because the level of this church has changed to a greater one this morning. The church has been lifted up by the mercy of God. And that is why we are excited. That is why we have come this morning to so return all the glory to so our maker, the only true God, the one that can do all things. I want you to lift up your hands and just thank God for your life as a person. That you are alive today and you are here standing on your two legs. I want you to say, Father, I just thank you. It's not by my power that I'm alive today. It is by your mercy, Lord. It's only you, it's only you, it's only you, God. I am nobody without you. I am nothing without you. You have been my help. You have been my strength. You have been my defense. You have been the God of my family. Open your mouth and thank this good God for joining mercy to our flow. From your sitting room to your bedroom. From your kitchen to your living room, it has been God and God and God they know. Thank you for the healing, all that you have experienced in the past months. Thank God because he has shown himself as our great physician. Oh, thank God for your health. Thank him, thank him, thank him for every member of your household. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Indeed, you are a good God. Indeed, you are a mighty God. There is no one that we can compare you with. Oh, Baba, we thank you. And all I want to do is come back. I to tell me you know I said. I want to be my God. She knows who I said. Oh, Lord, we bless you. Our Redeemer, our Savior. 
our goal. That we are alive and we are healthy. We are alive in him. He deserves our glory. He deserves our presence. And that is what we have come to do today. That you and I, we are not in the mortuary. I tell you, my people, a lot has happened in year 2021. A lot of things has really, really happened. It is by the grace of the Almighty God that we are still standing, that we are still in faith. And it is by His mercy that we have not been consumed, that we are not in the mortuary. Oh no, we say thank you. Oh no, we are glad that you are here. Oh, but don't we be to say shame? Daddy, we say thank you. I want you to open your mouth in your own way. Any song that comes out of your mouth, use this to praise this God. Today is a Thanksgiving service. He deserves us. He deserves that song. He wants to hear your voice. He wants to hear your voice. Sing God to Him. Sing songs of praise. Sing songs to appreciate God. Oh God has been good. On the way she. 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 Oh Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Baba, we thank you. Yes, Lord. You deserve this, Lord. You deserve this. Also, you, also, you, also, you, Lord, Lord, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. And so, our God and our Father, we have come with a heart of thanksgiving this morning. We have come to say thank you, Lord. Oluwe Mashel, where can we start from? Over all the children that you have given unto us in this sanctuary, Baba, we say thank you. Over all our youth, Daddy, we say thank you. Over all your daughters, oh God. Oh God, we say thank you. Over all our men, Daddy, Oluwa, we say thank you. For your healing that flows, Daddy, we say thank you. For your provision, Lord, Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we bless your holy name. Thank you for being there for us. Thank you for being our provider. Oh, Lord, that we have food that we can eat. That we can eat with our mouths. Oh, Baba, we say thank you. That we can lift our hands. We can stand on our legs. We can see with our ears. We can smell with our noses. Oh, Lord, we say thank you. Only wear my shell. Only wear my shell. Only wear my shell. Only wear my shell. Only we do it quite my shell. Father, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God and our Father, thank you for joining mercy. Within our house, oh Lord, we thank you. We can walk from the kitchen to the sitting room. We did not fall. Where we fell, you lifted us up. We were sick, oh God, you healed us. Daddy, accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We travel by hell, we go by road. Baba, you kept us safe. Oluwe she, Oluwe she, Oluwe she, Oluwe she. Daddy, we thank you specially for how you have lifted up your church. Even when we least expected this, you surprised us. You promoted us. Daddy, we thank you. You ask us to move forward. Daddy, we say thank you. Daddy, we bless your holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. And as we have come in this month of new beginning, in this unique month, oh God, in the church of God, ICCG, Daddy, we are thanking you because everyone that is connected with the Reigns Assembly, a new wave of glory, we will all experience in the name of Jesus. In our homes, we will experience the wave of glory. In our career, we will experience the wave of glory. In the academics of our children, we will experience the wave of glory. In our homes, we will experience the wave of glory. Even as your church has started experiencing the wave of glory, Daddy will thank you. Even as we go, O oh Lord, into the convention, O oh Lord, we pray that every one of us, whether we watch online, whether we go there physically, 
We are coming back with beautiful testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Heavenly Father. Thank you, God, our answers prayers. Thank you, God, of Abraham. Thank you, God, of Isaac. Thank you, God, of Israel. So you behold the glory. And so the service of today, we declare it's open. In the name of God, the Father. In the name of God, the Son. And in the name of the Holy Spirit. Lord, our sacrifice of thanksgiving be acceptable in your sight today and forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Now the loving shall say, Bessie, Amen. And a glorious Amen. And a beautiful Amen. Let's take our hymn. To the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. Oh, my soul, praise it for He is the health and salvation. Oh, ye who live now to His temple, draw me, draw me in blood and children departments let's quickly come there i know god has been faithful god has been good to you god bless you hallelujah somebody just like mommy announced if you have a testimony to share please just go out there uh, just by the side of the building, the pastor is waiting to hear your testimony and give you a number so that when the time comes, we will give our testimony according to those numbers. I pray for you that every day God will give you a new testimony in Jesus' name. Let me hear a living hallelujah. hallelujah. Brethren, it's time to give our title and offering, and I want you to join me to open your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 8. Genesis chapter 8. Genesis chapter 8. 
Amen. You find the offering envelope at the back of your chair, please. At the back of the seat. If it's not there, just raise your hand. The ushers will be willing to give you an envelope for the tithe. Amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 8. I read from verse 20. Genesis chapter 8. I read from verse 20. The Bible says, And Noah built an altar unto the Lord, and took of every clean beast, and all of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a sweet savour, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again smite any more everything living as I have done. Verse 22. While the earth remained, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. Amen. We know that story very well. Noah was just coming out of the ark with all the preserved species of animal. And the first thing he did was to give God an offering, to honor God. All that Noah wanted to do was to say, God, thank you, to honor God. But after giving the sacrifice, as we have read in that passage, it provoked promises from God. It provoked very deep commitment from God. That God said, never again will I destroy the heart this way. And that seed time and harvest time will not cease. Today is the first day in the month of August. It's a new day, it's a new week, and it's a new month. And for us in the redeemed Christian Church of God, we know August is a very special period for us. It's a season of a new wave of glory. I pray for you. The God of glory will be your God in this season in Jesus' name. No matter how good January to July has been, from now, you are going to a new level in Jesus' name. So I want to quickly package your tithe and offering in those envelopes. The tithe and offering in those envelopes. The basket here, the brown one is for the tithe of the minister. The big one is for the rest of us. While the choir will, I mean, the ushers will take our offering, I want us to rise on our feet, holding your tithe and your offering in your hand. Hold that envelope or those envelopes in your hand. And I want you to speak to it. God saw the sacrifice of Noah and made a pronouncement. He said, I will not again. The Bible said, from God's own heart. He said, not even withstanding the inadequacies of men, I'm committed to my home. So you are going to pray. Say, Father, you are a faithful God. You are the God of a new beginning. Father, from now, visit me with a new beginning in my finances, in my jobs, in my business, in my health, in my marriage, over my children, over my wife, over husband. Visit me with a new beginning in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how good the past has been, let my future be better in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter how big I am now, Father, take me to a new level. Make me bigger. Fill my mouth with testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. In the midst of crisis, let me be preserved. Let me be protected. Let me be provided for in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, wonderful name we have prayed. As the choir will lead us in song, please, I want you to dance. Give God a dance offering. Amen. Let God know truly a grateful child is in the house. Choir, please. Hallelujah. Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful. My God, you are excellent. You are. Lord, you are so good. You are so good. Lord, you are kind. You are so kind. Lord, you are wonderful. My
thank you. Faithful God, we thank you. It's a privilege to be dancing before you. It's a privilege to have a sacrifice to bring unto you. The living God, the one that is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you because your promise stands forever. Father, we pray this morning, accept us, accept our offering in Jesus' name. From the bottom of our heart, Lord, we out of gratitude your children has brought forth to honor you. Father, receive their offering in Jesus' name. Let this offering provoke, Lord, a new wave of blessing, a new wave of joy, a new wave of victory over every one of their businesses in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they have honored your name today. Father, I pray those hands, those jobs and businesses will never run dry in Jesus' name. Because you are a God of greatness every day. You are greater today than you are yesterday. Father, you will move them from another level of testimony to another greater level of testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. And for as many that in one need or the other, thank you because you are greater than all our need. Even those things that cannot be quantified by money, beyond law, our expectation, Father, surprise us in Jesus' name. Let everything, everything be new for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's have a seat. If your tithe is in the basket, please uh, remain standing. Or if you have sent it to the church account, remain standing. Covenant keeping, Father, we thank you. Thank you because not a single one of your word will fall down without achieving the purpose for which they have been sent. You've commanded us to bring forth a tenth of our increase. And in obedience, your children have honored you with their tithe today. Father, I pray for them. According to your promises, Lord, in the book of Malachi chapter 3, you say you are going to open the windows and doors of heaven. Upon this one, you will pour down your blessing. And even the ground will not be enough to contain it in the mighty name of Jesus. Because they have brought forth their tithe, I pray for them. Financially, it will not be tight for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Financially, you will not be stranded in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord that has blessed you with life and the strength for this increase will continue to promote you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have honored his name. You have been obedient to his command. Every one of his prophecies and promises over your life will be established in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you have honored God today, it will not be your last tight in Jesus' name. It will not even be your biggest tight in the mighty name of Jesus. As long as heaven stands, God of increase will be your God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the glory. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let everyone shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. The hallelujah is for the past six months. We want to shout the hallelujah for the next, uh, for the last seven months, the next five or six months to the end of the year. Let's shout a very, very big, big hallelujah. You know the reason why we are shouting this hallelujah. What happened to the children of Israel when they were out of Egypt? In Exodus chapter 15, I just read from those three verses. Verse 1 to verse 3. Then sang Moses, the children of Israel, this song unto the Lord. And spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song. He is become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him and habitation, my father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Today, we give all glory unto the Lord. It's testimony time. 
is a time to testify of the wondrous work of the Lord in our lives. For the past seven months, God has been so grateful. So if you hear your name, please can you come forward as to give your testimony. That the Benova, please come forward. Please let's be, go straight to the point and uh, let's clap our hands. Clap our hands, please. Let somebody shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. I said, let somebody shout a powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. My testimony is to the glory of the, of, of the almighty God. Tomorrow is my birthday. Some people want to conjecture. What is the age of this man? By next year, by the grace of God, I will celebrate my diamond birthday. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank God that up to today, I have not known how to take drip. My God has blessed me with divine health. I have not entered any hospital for any admission. I have not been rushed to the hospital. So for almost 60 years, I have enjoyed divine head. <laughs> Furthermore, I have enjoyed God's salvation for the past 34 years. I became born again for the past 34 years. And by His grace, I'm standing. Amen. I'm a father of four great children. And I'm a father of four glorious grandchildren. <laughs> Amen. This month, I'm celebrating my birthday with three of my children. Oh, God, children. Amen. For the past years, brethren, it has been full of challenges. But by the mercies of God, I have triumphed. There is no challenge that has come my way that God has not given me victory. I'm not falling to the ground. They will come one way and they will flee seven ways. Amen. I don't want to itemize so many things because of time. And uh, I want to thank my wife, though she's in church. She's a good wife. Amen. And brethren, it is good to marry your friend. My wife is my friend. You know, you know they say, the way you marry, you say you marry, but you marry your friend. Despite the challenges, she has been by me. She's my prayer warrior. I think she will go on 15 days dry fasting. I said, why are you running up and down now? I think she will go to the mountain. All because of me. We have seen the best of life. Are you hearing me? And we have seen the low of life. Some people, when things go low, they change. Abby? We have driven about six vehicles packed with drivers. We have been without any vehicle, but she remained the same. <laughs> Amen. Somebody who was once driven for about 20 years, you have a driver carrying you. Suddenly, that vehicle is not there. It's a test of the person's faith and love. You know, some women will change automatically. But in the midst of that, she remains stronger. She stood, and our prayers have been answered. God is taking us higher, 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 and higher. Praise the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. One thing I want to encourage. Amen. Let me just, do, let me just preach this last one. You know, you know when, when, the, when the pastor is talking. <laughs> Amen. One thing I want to encourage the youth and the singles and those that are married. Please, when God reveals to you, test that person, eat best is your friend. It's not your friend, the marriage could be difficult. But if it's your friend, your marriage will be a bliss. It shall be well with you in the Praise name of Jesus. The Lord. the Lord will continue to keep you. You see more of divine health in your, in your home in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, he's a pastor, so when they start talking, you have a lot to talk. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Brother Valentine. Good 
morning, church. Uh, I'm here this morning to testify to the goodness of God in my family. There are so many things to be grateful for. I'm here this morning to return all glory to God. I mean, for the unfathomable death of his love, kindness, and mercy upon my family. I want to acknowledge his word that God heard that the staff of good man. I want to thank God for directing my path on daily basis. We can't be too careful. I want to thank God for safety, even at my place of work. I want to thank God for the journey of nine months. I want to thank God for the addition of new baby girl to my family. Uh, I want to appreciate God even for unmerited favor. I pray may his name be glorified forever in Jesus' name. Let's clap for Jesus. Raval, God, that addition will bring joy. More full, your joy will be full in the family in the mighty name of Jesus. Brother Taiwo. Let's clap our hands, Brother Taiwo and the wife come forward. Good morning, church. Good morning, church. I'm here this morning to give God glory and return all the all the glory to Him. Uh, I appreciate what He has done in my family, particularly in the life of my wife. I can't I, I can't say everything here, but <laughs> my God, I just want to bless His only name. I bless his only name for everything he has done. Another thing, he just gave us new born baby, fancy baby girl. Thank God. Sir, please, permit me, sir. I have to just, just a little song. Just one. Would you just one? one. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's okay. It's a Yoruba song for the rest of the sake of people that don't understand Yoruba. Please. I, like, I love this song. La 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 mumuri e mi moluri e mi moluri mule mi moluri. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's clap for Lord. Jesus. Let's Thank clap you, for Lord. Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Some of us that are married with children, especially the men, you understand the brother. Praise the Lord. When your wife gives birth, you understand. Some of us here, you understand. God bless you. God going to keep you and your family. In Jesus' name. Sister Heritage, Etienne. Let's clap for Jesus as you come forward. Let's clap for Jesus. Safo mutier and to Safo mutier and to Boy, come though, I'm young, I'm working for. Boy, come though, up on a yen and fee. Boy, come though, I'm young, I'm working for. Boy, come though, up on a yen and 
Praise the living Jesus. Good morning, church. I'm here to bless the name of the Lord for all that he has been doing for me and my family. Last year, July, like this, I was down. I was totally down, but the Lord restored me back. This same year, July, because this month is my birth month, the enemy striked again. But the Lord gave me victory. Not up to three days, I had news from my elder one that my mom too is, was down. That we should pray for her. But I just give God all the glory, Lord. For all the challenges of life. For all the victories that he has been giving to me. I say, Lord, may your name be highly exalted forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's clap for Jesus. To my sister, God promises that whatever, even though you pass through the waters, it will be with you. If you pass through the fire, it's going to be with you. It's going to be with your family. You bring healings with it in the mighty name of Jesus. Sister Jamoke. Let's clap for Jesus. He's coming. Let's clap for Jesus. Lanu mi e ma se o papa ona pe mi po mi o le sosan sugbon o si be si be emi o se won ti mo le se baba lanu mi e ma se o faithful 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 are you God of faithful, faithful are you, Lord. Oh, faithful are you, Lord. Daddy, you are faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful are you, Lord. Going to faithful, faithful are you, Lord. Oh, faithful are you, Lord. Daddy, you are faithful. Yes, praise the Lord. Yes, our God is so faithful to fail. Thank you, Father. God, I've added another year to my year this month. Oh, God, sis. Thank you, Jesus. When I look at my back, I say, oh, I say. When I remember where I start from, I say, thank you, Jesus. May only your name be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, wonderful name, I worship him. God will remain faithful to you and your family and everything you stand for. The Lord will uphold you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sister Helen, Sister Itino, who's not here? Now let's welcome Brother Femi. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to bless the name of the Lord for this faithfulness. This month is my best month. And I want to appreciate everybody that celebrates their month this, uh, that birthday this month should rise up. Let's worship together just a minute.
you August uh, children. God bless you because like uh, we are we are envious on October you will sing this song. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Is Sister Helen here now? Please let's clap on her as she comes in on. <laughs> thank God for the salvation of my soul and I want to say thank God uh, my movie is out there is a friend of mine I was laughing with she shoot her movie from January and then I shoot my February and mine is released I will call her upcoming she will say but I just want to thank God his grace and I want to say to everybody that I shared with I watch online thank you for watching more because I need more view and I want to thank God and there was a day, I think it was um, one of our weekly services, um, Pastor Salako said something. He said his colleague um, take over those, and then the, the person was rushed to the hospital and all. I thought it was a minor um, issue, like, oh, when you take over those, this is how it will, it will go and on. I did not know he have in faith in the person's life if you don't, um, I don't know the English word to use. If you don't quick, quick, ma. If you don't get treated, thank you, ma. If you don't get treated. Um, somebody called me and said, please help me to pick something up from him. I picked the thing up. Along the line, something happened. I was annoyed and I started pounding because I'm an asthmatic patient because the person is the person I can do anything with. So I was pounding and over pounding. I take... Um, Normal, when I'm pounding, there's this drug I take. I take it, and it wasn't up to 10 minutes again because I was reporting the person to person on phone. I go back in, you know, up to 10 minutes. I take it again. The following, um, the midnight, my throat started getting dry. Like, what happened? Am I having crisis? I stood up, and I just see that it wasn't like me. But the thing there was, I just heard the word go to the hospital and I went to this hospital here. But I want to thank God that it's he's standing. No, I'm not dead. At the end of the line, lumps, they said my throat was black because the asthmatic drugs is, is not what you take lightly. But I just want to thank God. God, you are here. You've been saving me. Sudden death is not my portion. That one is just sat here. And I tell death every time he come, hey, hello, you're just checking. I'm standing, man. And, uh, and I'm standing, I'm healthy. I'm standing, I'm healthy. Nevertheless, what I pay in the hospital is not what I budget for. But excuse me, I'm standing. Thank God. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. My sister, the Lord will put his hand upon you and will give you a divine heart. Everything that is not working all right, the Lord will correct it in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare healing, total healing upon your life in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. The youth, are you ready? Youth have a drama presentation. Let's clap our hands as they come forward, please. Let our mommies be ready and the children, tell the children to be ready too. Praise the Lord.
seeth thou a man diligent in his business, he shall stand before kings. He shall stand not before mere men. The Lord daily loads us with benefits because we are his, because we belong to him. The young man just got a job. He didn't do much for it. But the Lord had just surprised him. And you know the thing about our God? His surprises are endless. One after the other. One after the other. And just from the same source, the Lord has given him a car. How easy life can be. You know what it is now? I know he's small boy. We are not in the same level again. Do you know who I am? Have you heard of me before? I can buy the house now. I'm going to get married right now. I'm going to do that stuff. Uh-oh. But you know the devil. That guy is everywhere. He sees whatever becomes the focus of the devil, be, be, whatever becomes the focus of God becomes the focus of the devil. When the Lord is at work in your life, the devil begins to go around. For it is written, he only comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Whatever will take joy away from you, the devil is committed to doing it. And off goes the car. You can call it reality. But you know one thing about the devil also? He's never tired. He doesn't just stop at one. When he comes, he comes for everything. As it is written, the only language the devil understands is violence. He has taken the job away. The young man, he still remembers some scriptures, you know. He remembers that though weeping endure for the night, joy comes in the morning. Aha! I still have some money, you know. I was diligent. I have some money saved up. I can start something else. I don't have to be idle. I don't have to remain at a place. It's going to be a new beginning. But then again comes the devil. Can I have it? And there he goes. The devil does not pity any man. There he goes. He takes the money. No hope. No job. No car. No money. Is that the end of life? Could that be the end of life? Oh Lord, where are you? Why are you watching this happen to me? Oh yes, he has a wife. Oh my dear husband. It's not the end of the world. As long as we have life, we have hope. We can forge ahead. You have me by your side. We can start this all over again. For one shall chase a thousand, but two shall chase ten thousand. Two call, says the devil. He comes again. He's never tired. When you think it's over, it has just begun. 
And there he goes. He steals the comfort away from the man. And the man screams out, Oh God, what is left of me? Just come and kill me. There is nothing else the devil can take from me. He has taken everything. Aha. The devil says, we just got started, young man. He comes again. And this time around, it's time to expose his nakedness. There he goes. Anything that will make him established, the devil takes from him. And at this point, it's as though life has ended. He began to cry to God because he knows when it seems as though everything is ending, God can make you start again. Aha! He remembers that he still has a Bible. Where's my Bible? At least the devil did not steal the Bible. He goes for his Bible. And then he begins to seek the Lord as it is written. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. He opens his scriptures in a loving relationship with the maker of all things. Come now, let's reason together. Do your sins be like scarlet, it shall be as white as snow. He begins to discover. Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospered. He began to discover. For the Lord has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Suddenly he discovered that the Lord has spoiled principalities and powers and made an open show of them. Suddenly he discovered this week is like no other week. It is the week of the new wave of glory. As he discovered as it is written, Arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. He has discovered that it is written, Call upon me in the days of trouble. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. He is filled with excitement. But then again comes the devil. The devil is trying to find out what is making him excited. Where is he getting this joy from? The devil taps him. What is wrong with you? Come on. He looks at the devil now. <laughs> he looks not with fear. For it is written. We have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but we have received the spirit of sonship, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He said to the devil, Devil, I know who I am. I know whose I am. For I am seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. I am a holy nation. I am a peculiar person. I am called forth out of darkness to show for the light of God. He said to the devil, I know who you are. You are not the lion. You only move around like the lion. There is only one lion. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he has roared in my life. And I tell you what he said. He said, upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. I shall arise and possess my possession. Devil, it is payback time. Devil, right now, return my car. Now, devil, go. Return my car. Return what belongs to me. For it is written, I will restore unto you the years the locusts and canker worms have eaten. Devil, return my job. It is time to return that which you have taken from me. He said to the devil, Devil, return my wife. Return my wife. It is time to return what does not belong to you. Return what belongs to me. He said to the devil, return my shoes. Devil, return my shoes. I belong to Jehovah, the man of war. 
I belong to the consuming fire. I possess what belongs to me. Just as the devil was about to stake off, he said to him, Devil, I command you to kneel. He said, Devil, can I tell you something? It is written, Henceforth, let no devil trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of God. He looked at the devil, he said, Devil, on your marks, Devil, set. Devil, go! Hallelujah. The youth, you wowed us. The concept, the presentation. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That was a great preaching. I think uh, here we've, we've gotten enough. So that is going to give us a bigger one. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Our women, mommies, are you ready? Let the children get ready, please. Let's clap for our mommies as they come now. Let's clap for our mommies. Hallelujah. If you are happy to be in the presence of God this morning, just rise up and wave, do a wave of it to the most high God. The God that has kept you, the God that has kept me, the God that has kept his short, despite what is happening in the world. God has counted you and I to be among the living. Wave your hands and just say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. Please be seated. We are here to minister to you in song. It's a song you will know and uh, I, I will enjoin you to join us if you can sing it. And um, there is this new wave of glory already in this uh, assembly. I don't know if you believe it. I don't know if somebody is feeling it. Something new. God is about to do something new in our lives. In our lives as a church. In our lives as individuals. So we are here to give thanks to God Almighty that has kept us and uh, that is still keeping us that will take us to come to experience the new wave of glory. And as we are coming back, we are coming back with shouts of hallelujah. If you believe that, just rise up and shout a heavy hallelujah to the King of Kings. Let's go. Please join me. Let's sing. Let's shout hallelujah. If you drop uh -huh. hallelujah. A shout of hallelujah will not cease in our lives from henceforth in Jesus' name. Be blessed as we minister in Jesus' mighty name.
today. Praise the Lord. Let's welcome our children. Let's welcome our children. Go for them. Let's welcome our children. Praise the Lord. So, um, we're the four to five class are great people, great minds, and we have short verses to, we're not just reciting basically, we're using it to encourage us, we're using it to remind ourselves of children, of that we are children of God, and our heritage in Christ, praise God. When we're four years and five years old, I'm not sure we could stand here, so please, when we're done, you want a standing ovation, praise God. <laughs> Psalm 56 and 3. Why I am a thing, I call on you. Evil thirty verse 8. Jesus Christ received yesterday, today, forevermore. Psalm 34, verse 18. 
If you are down for you, I live for ten lives. Okay. Fourteen plus fourteen, you are the light of the world. A city can and a heat that can never be hidden. Matthew, Matthew, nineteen, then fourteen. Jesus said, "Let the little children come, come to me, and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to God." First Corinthians. 16, verse 13 and 14. Be on your guard. Stand firm in faith. Be strong. Be courageous. Do everything in love. Praise God. Let them come back. Ch children, please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Let them come back. I want the whole church to stretch forth their hands on these children. Let's pray for them. Let's use them as point of contact to all children of the Reigns Assembly. That the joy of the Lord shall be their strength. That God will order their step that the spirit of this world will not enter into any of them, that they will know the Lord, that they will be exemplary, that they will be on top and not beneath, that God will establish them, they will be a joy to their family, they will be a joy to the church of God, that they will, they will rise above their peers. In their generation, they will touch lives. They will give joy to their parents, they will give joy to the church of God. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Our Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you for these young ones. We thank you for what you will do in their lives. We thank you for the courage. We thank you for the boldness. Father, we continue to be with them. Continue to strengthen them in their schools with everything that they require for success. You will bestow unto them, bestow unto their parents in the mighty name of Jesus every child in this church will excel. We will not hear any bad news concerning any of them. God will be with them. We cover each and every one of them in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. For those of us that are giving a testimony, please let be upstanding as we pray. Our Father in heaven, we want to thank you for the testimonies of your children. We thank you for safety. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for those that are celebrating their birthday. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We worship you. Father, Lord, Things of testimony shall not cease from our mouth. Because as the children of God sang that song in Exodus chapter 15, of the wondrous thing that you've done for them, Father, I declare, O oh Lord, in this church, every member, O oh God, will witness your wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. The raging illness in the world is not for us. Because said every illness, every sickness of the Egyptians, here, you took it away from us in the mighty name of Jesus. No matter the name that is called, anyone that is passing through one tall storm or the other, but that we declare that that storm be still in the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty God in heaven, we want to thank you, O oh God, for the youth, the presentation, those whatever role that they play. Negative, Father Lord, it shall not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. But I declare, O oh God, this youth shall be stars. The stars that shine and darkness cannot comprehend. Blessed be your name, O God. Every one of us here, O God, we will testify of the goodness of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Father, let's lift our hands to the most high God and bless his holy name. Let's give him glory. Let's give him honor. Give him adoration. Bless his holy name. Bless the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Bless the ancient of days. He's worthy to be adored. He's worthy to be magnified. Praise him. Praise his holy name. Magnify his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty God. You're worthy to be praised. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy to be praised. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for every blessing we have received from you. Thank you for what you've done in the past. Thank you for what you will do in the future. Glory be to your holy name. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty. Thank you, Ancient of Days. Thank you, Great Provider. Thank you, Great Supporter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Today, we want to pray specially for everybody. Everyone who is tired of failure. Everyone who is tired of walking like an elephant and eating like a rat. You want to lift your voice to the Almighty God and say, Father, help me. Help me, help me. Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. Help me, Lord. I don't want to fail again. No more labor loss. I don't want to struggle for nothing. In my business, no more labor loss. In my marriage, no more labor loss. In my academics, no more labor loss. I, I don't want to fail again. In my ministry, Lord God Almighty, no more labor loss. Help me. Help me today. From this moment onward, let me begin to succeed. Let me begin to prosper. Prosper mightily. Let me begin to prosper in everything I do. Don't let me labor for nothing anymore. From now on, let there be no more labor loss in my life. Help me, almighty God. Help me, ancient of days. Please, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. No more labor loss. Don't let me labor in vain any longer for the rest of my life, Father. No more labor loss. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now, this is the week of our convention. And the theme is a new wave of glory. Let us cry to the Almighty God. And say, Lord God Almighty, beginning from now, move me from glory to glory. During this convention, 
Let us move from glory to glory, Lord. Let's talk to the Almighty. All those who will be watching by the internet, by television, all those who will be listening by radio, every one of us during this convention, my Lord and my Savior, move us from glory to glory. Let a new wave of glory sweep all of us from glory to glory. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, during the convention, millions will be fed physically. So let's cry to the Almighty God and say, in your miraculous way, provide for all our needs. Let's call on the Almighty God. Provide, provide. Millions will be fed. Several thousands will be transported. Please, Lord, meet all our needs in your own miraculous way. Meet all our needs. Send help to us, Lord, from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. Send help to us. Meet all our needs. And meet all our needs also, not only materially, but physically and spiritually. Heal the sick. Set the captives free. Let there be breakthroughs, Lord. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Just glorify your holy name during your convention. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And then if there's anything special you want God to do for you this month, go ahead and ask him now, something special, so that by the end of this month, you will have something to testify about. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be Yeah. 
kings and lord of lords. The I am that I am, the ancient of days, the unchangeable changer. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you for January. Thank you for February. Thank you for March. Thank you for April. Thank you for May. Thank you for June. Thank you for July. And now thank you for August. I accept our thanks in Jesus' name. We know you who have brought us thus far, you will see us till the end of this year. And today in particular, Father, we ask that from this moment onward, we will never know failure again. That there be no more labor loss. That whatever we touch from now on, we prosper. In every area of our lives, Lord, let us begin to prosper. And during this week of your convention, glorify your name. Do more than we have ever seen you do before. Please provide for all our needs. Physically, materially, and spiritually, provide for all our needs. Before this year convention is over, let our testimonies be complete. As for your children who have been faithful in the giving of their offerings and the payment of their tithes, this month, Lord, embarrass them with your blessings. Bless them so mightily that all their mockers will be silenced. And whatever your children will want from you this month, give them double. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Well, let someone shout hallelujah. But one or two people and say, from now on, you will be prospering. And then you may please be seated. Our text this morning is Luke chapter 5, from verse 1 to 11. Luke 5. From verse 1 to 11, our theme is no more laborers. And it came to pass that as the people pressed upon him to hear the word of God, he stood by the lake of Gennesaret and saw two sheep standing by the lake, but the fishermen were gone out of them and were washing their nets. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon's, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the sheep. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draught. And Simon answered, answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all the night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. And when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes, and their net break. And they beckoned unto their partners, which were in the other ship, that they should come and help them. And they came and filled both the ship, so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished, and all that were with him at the draught of the fishes which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not, from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And when they had brought their ship to land, they forsook all and followed him. No more 
payable loss. You will never fail again. Everything you have lost as a result of all the struggles shall be restored. I want you to take a note of where you are today and check where you will be before the end of the year. Because my God will surprise you. When a man is not succeeding as he should succeed, whether in business, in career, in academics, in ministry. From my own little study of the scriptures, I've discovered that there could be four basic causes. Four things could be responsible. And I want to address those four very quickly this morning. Uh, discuss the problem and offer the solution. So that this day will be a day that you will remember for the rest of your life. Cause <laughs> number one will be laziness. When you're not putting enough effort, you may think you are, but if you're not putting enough effort, you might not get the kind of results you should get. Proverbs chapter 6, from verse 6 to 11. Proverbs 6, from verse 6 to 11, say, hey, go and learn from the ants. If there's anything you learn from the ants is that they are always busy, they are diligent. So they have no overseer, they have nobody supervising them, <laughs> but they know their business. The Bible says, and that same Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 6 to 11, it says, just a little more sleep, a little more folding of the hands to sleep, he said, huh. Poverty will come like a traveler. And want will come in as an armed man. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 19, verse 15, Proverbs 19, verse 15, he said, And I do so shall suffer hunger. That's the word of God. It's written. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 21. Proverbs 23, verse 21 says, Drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Now, I know the, the doctors say that you should sleep for eight hours a day. <laughs> eight hours a day. That's one third of your life. You spend one third of your life sleeping and you want to prosper. If God prospers you like that, that you, God won't be fair. Solution? Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Ephesians 5, verse 14. Say, awake. Those of you who are sleeping. And God will give you light. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Proverbs 22, verse 29 says, See thou a man diligent in his business. He will stand before kings and not before mean men. Diligent. Not lazy. Not slothful. Not always sleeping. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Hebrews 11 verse 6. Tells us God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. You're sleeping eight hours a day and you want to reach the top, it's not going to happen. Way back in 1957, when I was uh, 
in the secondary school. There was a, a, a book entitled John Plowman's Talks. I don't know if it is still in print. If you can get hold of it, get it. It is full of words of wisdom in little, little poems. One of the things that he wrote there is the height by great men reached and kept. We are not attained by sudden flight, but they, while their companions slept, were toiling upward in the night. Successful people are busy people. When you are sleeping, they are working. Are you lazy? Wake up. Make up your mind from now. No more laziness. I've said this one before. Uh, it's uh, quite a few of us who got born again around the same time and we were introduced to uh, the word of faith that you, you know, you, you claim it and uh, you have it. So that we wake up in the morning and say, I have a car, I have a car, I have a car. In the name of Jesus, I have a car. I receive it. <laughs> Five years later, they are still claiming, I have a car, I have a car, and they are trekking. You know why? They will wake up at 10 a.m., get to the office around 12, close by 2, and then they say, I have a car, I have a car. <laughs> I told them, God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. I have told you before, a lot of students in the campuses, they, they sing, they worship God, which is very good. I mean, and the exam is near. And you are fellowshipping till 12 midnight, singing, praising God. Exam comes, you fail. You say, God, how can this happen? I've been praising you all along. Uh, I say, you are supposed to study. I bet this, what about the Holy Spirit? I is to remind you of what you have learned. Don't worry. The Holy Spirit is still there. Eh? You have failed, he will comfort you. <laughs> he will tell you, next time, study. But we learned that in your own school day, I studied. I studied during the day, I studied during the night. In those days, those of us who didn't have money to buy um, coffee, we buy cola nut. How many of the older ones are here? Do you, you know what I'm talking about? Somehow we discovered that caffeine is also in cola nut to keep us awake. We're getting ready for the examination, and we find that we, when we have tried everything, we are still dozing. And when we, we solve the problem, you want me to tell you one of the ways we use? Uh, we get a bucket of water, cold water, and put our legs inside. In that discomfort, you can't fall asleep. You have to pass these exams it is what you learn that God will remind you of. God is not going to prosper the lazy. Do I hear amen? amen? All right, that's number one. Number two, enemy action. The Bible says in John chapter 10, verse 10, John chapter 10, verse 10, it said the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It could be enemy action. You're working hard. You are making progress, but the enemy will come in and then do something about it. Ah, well, I mean, we have an example in Judges chapter 6, from verse 3 to 6. Judges 6, from verse 3 to 6. It tells us that the children of Israel were being uh, 
troubled <laughs> by funny enough armies from the north. They will wait for them to plant. They will wait till it is harvest time. Then they will come in and sweep everything away. I pray today that all the enemies within and without waging wars against your success in the name that's above every other name, they won't see the end of this month. Solution. Simple. Psalm 18 from verse 1 to 3. Psalm 18 from verse 1 to 3. He said, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. He started by eulogizing God. You are my rock. You are my fortress. You are my king. You are my everything. Now I'm praising you. Save me from my enemies. Today, when it is time for Thanksgiving, make sure you praise him. A lot of people have said that uh, when I come to preach, I don't begin to bind Satan and bind this one. But eh, I know a better way. I mean, after all, you bound him yesterday. He got loose overnight. <laughs> if he's as slippery as that, supposed to bind him at the beginning of the summer. And before you finish, it got loose. Now, I know a better way. When you are praising God, he will arise and fight your battles for you. Uh, so that's why I always ask you to start everything we want to do by shouting hallelujah. David said in Psalm 119, verse 164, Psalm 119 from verse 164, he said, I will praise God seven times a day. You know what he was trying to do? The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 30 to 31, Proverbs 6, 30 to 31, that if you catch a thief, is to restore what he has stolen sevenfold. So David said, I know what I will do. I will praise God seven times. <laughs> he will help me catch my thief, and the thief will restore to me sevenfold. You don't know the thief that is waging war. Some of them you know. If you know the physical thief, don't joke with thieves. <laughs> where I come from, before they hand the thief to the police, they would have uh, treated him to some little bit of, uh, you know what. <laughs> Don't let me mention that because they are listening all over the world. We don't joke with thieves. If we get a thief, you deal with the thief very well. Now, but you, at times you don't know the thief. The thief might even be spiritual. And you don't know where the thief is hiding. What do you do? Hand him over to God. The thief can't hide from God. Psalm 139 from verse 7 to 12. Psalm 139 from verse 7 to 12 says, there's nowhere you can hide from God. Go to the mountain top, he's there. Go to the bottom of this ocean, he's there. Hide in darkness, we will find you there. One of us gave a testimony several years ago. He was working hard. He was an executive in a very successful company. Salaries will come in, allowances will come in. At the end of the month, he will nothing left. And he will look at him and say, What have I done with the money? So one day he got an inspiration. Let us praise God for three days and three nights. I think there was a public holiday. And he said, We are not going to pray. We will just praise God. And they began to praise God. And 
And all of a sudden, one of the housewives began to scream. And this housewife happens to be a relation that he brought from the village. Why are you screaming? We are praising God. He said, I, I, I have a confession to make. What's the confession? He said, uh, when I was coming down here, they told me to bring one of your caps. So I took your cap, took it to them in the, in, in the village, and they did some charm to it. So every money you are earning here is appearing in the cup. I told me, he said, is that so? Uh, <laughs> the fire of God will consume the cup today. You don't know where your trouble might be coming from, but God is everywhere. And if there is anything that the enemy had planted in your business, in your place of work, in your home, that is a cold it pipe to the enemy, the fire of God will burn it today. <laughs> Number three, because of time, is divine resistance. You might be working hard. Nobody is stealing from you. It is God himself that is resisting. And when you get that kind of situation, you really have a problem. <laughs> because if God is the one who is causing you to fail, then uh, who are you going to call on? In Haggai chapter 1 from verse 2 to 11, Haggai 1 from verse 2 to 11, God said, because people refused to complete his house, he said, well, you are building your own house. You leave my own house uncompleted. I said, no problem. Go and be making the money. Let us see how far it will go. So when you bring it in, I will blow it off. Is there? I'm not the one who said that to Haggai chapter 1, from verse 2 to 11. I've told you of uh, those of those of us who might be fairly old. You probably remember one thief here in Lagos, around 1952. They call him Anikura. Anikura, <laughs> Anikura was such a notorious thief. They wax a record in the praise of him. And the way the lyrics go is that Anikura, Anikura will not ask you not to trade. Anikura will not ask you not to make a game. He will only make sure you don't take the gain home because he will wait for you on Qatar Bridge. And you are, when you finish working at night and you are coming home, Anikura will attack you there, take all the money from you, and disappear into the lagoon. Anikura. <laughs> when you fail to build the house of God. You leave the house of God uncompleted. He say, I can be an ikura to you. Let you make the money and then blow it off. In Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 to 12, Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, he says, it doesn't matter how much money you make. If you refuse to pay your tithe, I'm not the one who wrote it. He said, he will allow devourers to come and begin to bite. You know, some people will say that's Old Testament. Sad. In 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 7, God says, if you don't treat your wife right, your prayers will be hindered. Is there? It's the word of God. You marry this girl. You are struggling together. Now success has come. You are now a big man. And all of a sudden, the girl doesn't know anything. She doesn't know how to do anything well anymore. You have now seen Sisieko, uh, uh, or whatever, maybe, <laughs> maybe CC America. I, and now you begin to treat the fellow who suffered with you shabbily. And God said, no problem. 
I create a problem. You think you have money. I know how to give you problem that will take that money away from you. It's there. He said your prayers will be, will be hindered. So what do I do? How do I solve that problem? I'm, I'm sure not too many of you are in that category. <laughs> but there might be one or two. Number one, you seek first the kingdom of God. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. Matthew 6 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all other things will be added. Some of us began to succeed and we had no time for God anymore. I could tell you stories. I could tell you the story of a young man in, when, when we were in the old church there. An American came to preach. And this fellow was as poor as any of us. <laughs> I mean, so poor that himself, his wife, and five children were living in a room and parlor in somewhere in motion. And the man of God, you know the way the Americans would do, just came down from the pulpit, went straight to this young man, and said, Thus saith the Lord, I will make you a millionaire if you will serve me. Ah, we were all envious of him. <laughs> because he shouted for joy. And you know what? Within months, money began to come. Breakthrough upon, upon breakthroughs. And then all of a sudden, uh, we won't see brother in church. <laughs> hey, then the, I, I sent to him, they said uh, he, he has traveled. He has traveled. You know, business abroad. He has traveled. Then one day they came to me and they said he had a heart attack. How can he's a young man? He succeeded. Go and bring him. They brought him. What was the problem? It was the time when they were building Abuja. They gave him a contract in Abuja, and they said if he gets to a certain level, they will pay him 200 million naira. And 200 million naira when they were building Abuja. That's more than 200 billion now. Two weeks before he got to the level where they would pay him the 200 million, they canceled the contract. That's where the art attack came. So I said to him, I said, ah. <laughs> It's your problem now. I was there when the man of God said you will become a millionaire if you will serve God. Now, you just a little had come in and we don't, you don't have time for that. Uh, hey, this Sunday, I have to hold a meeting in uh, Switzerland with my partner. Uh, the Sunday before, it was a meeting in Geneva. Uh, go and be holding the meeting now. <laughs> Put God first. Do I hear amen to that? Yeah. And you should listen to me carefully because God is going to prosper you. Yeah. This day is a turning point in your life. Yeah. And I'm not joking. That's why I say take note of where you are now. So that when December comes, you can look at where God has taken you. Put God first. Honor him with your first fruit. Proverbs chapter 3 from verse 9 to 10. Proverbs 3 from verse 9 to 10. Honor him. God is not hungry. God doesn't need your money. He, he ha <laughs> Where he is in heaven, the street is paved with gold. That's the truth of the matter. If you bring something to him and he takes it from you, he's honoring you. Without you, he can do what he wants to do. Now, I'm, the reason I'm telling you some of this stories is because experience is the best teacher. When I became general overseer, I decided 
For anybody who comes to the convention, God will feed them. I was acting by faith. I had no job other than being a pastor. I said, my God is in heaven. After all, when they came to listen to Jesus Christ, he fed them. Hey, we'll be feeding the people. And one of the young men who was a baker said, ah, that's a good opportunity for me. I'll be sowing. He said, and when we said they'd be fed, we, we, we meant two meals a day, oh, and not three. And I showed them from the scriptures. I said, God fed Elijah twice a day. Uh, not three times, so you too, two times. <laughs> and this, my young friend, was bringing bread. That's taking care of breakfast. So all I had to do now is look for dinner. Then a year came, and he said he didn't like a particular sermon I preached. And decided no more bread. And he didn't tell me. So in those days, we would begin service, and uh, in early in the morning, we would sing and praise God and do everything to delay till around 11 before breakfast. <laughs> 11 came, no bread. 12, no bread. And the people who have been singing were no longer singing. <laughs> Oh, my God. So I sent for him. What happened? The vehicles bringing the bread broke down. He said, no. So what is the problem? He said, I'm not bringing bread anymore. Ah. So I sent for my wife. How much do we have? Because we live day to day, hour to hour. How much do we have for the evening meal? <laughs> We gathered it together, ran to Onyibu to go and buy bread. And we brought bread. We, we, we said, before evening, God will provide. I pray for someone here today. Before the sun sets today, God will provide for you. Somehow we survived the convention. Just like somehow we survived coronavirus. And for the rest of your life, you will be a survivor. <laughs> Years later, I woke up early in the morning, came out, and I saw a man in front of my house. Ah, this was my old friend. How are you? Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? What, what, what can I do for you? I said, you came early. He said, I would have come earlier. He said, uh, but when I wanted to come, I discovered that the, one of the tires of my car had come flat. Uh -huh. What about a uh, spare tire? He said, there is none. Uh, and this man used to have 14 cars. If God takes your offering, it's a honor to you. Do I hear somebody say amen? Yeah. amen? Honor him with your first fruit. Don't rob him. Pay your tithe. Give him your first fruit. A promise in Joel chapter 2, from verse 23 to 27. Joel 2, 23 to 27. He said, he has an army of caca worms, palma worms, that he is usually sent to destroy. He said, if you do your part, he will withdraw the army that is working against you. If God has been resisting you from now on, resistance is over. Yeah. Possibility number four is when God is setting you up for a major breakthrough. In the text we read in Luke chapter 5, if you read it from verse 1 to 7, Peter fished all night. He caught nothing. Peter was not a lazy man. He walked all night. No enemy attacked him. Nobody stole his nets. He just didn't catch anything. 
he hasn't offended God at all. How do I know? There were many sheep there. God chose his own. So why the failure then God wanted him to be around when he would arrive? Because if he had caught fish, he would have gone home before Jesus arrived. But he didn't catch any fish. Mother-in-law was at home <laughs> waiting for food. And so he had to be washing nets. And the Bible said they were washing their nets. What are they washing in a net that didn't catch anything? He couldn't go home because God set him up. That might be... Oh, come on, go ahead. Give the Lord a big round of applause. Some of you came to church today because we hear that the team is no more laborless. Some of you have been failing. You have been struggling. And God wants you to come so he can catch you. So the two of you can become partners. Partners. God is setting you up for partnership. He's setting you up. He, he's looking for people that he will prosper so mightily that they will say, God, I am your treasurer. Bring the money. We will spend it to do your work. I am not going to deny you of anything because I know where you pick me from. I know how far you have now taken me. How can I rob you? God is setting some people up. And I know one or two people here who are sure if you are one of them, let me hear you shout hallelujah. <laughs> let me conclude. The Bible tells us a story in 2 Samuel chapter 6 from verse 6 to 12. 2 Samuel 6 from verse 6 to 12. They were taking the Ark of the Covenant into Jerusalem. And all of a sudden, near the house of a certain man called Obededom, there was an accident. And somebody died. And David said, ah, no, this ark is not coming with me. It's too dangerous. Let's put it into the house of Obededom. Of all the people, God set up Obededom. The ark of the covenant got into his house. And the man prospered so mightily within three months. The old nation heard about it. I prophesy to someone here today, in the name that's above every other name, very soon, everybody in your nation will hear about you. In conclusion, why don't you surrender your life to him? Because Peter gave him his boat, you know. And said, Jesus, you can come into my boat. You can preach, you can preach, you can do whatever you want to do in my boat. He could have said, no way. He could have said, don't, don't bother me. I, I'm, a, I'm a failed fisherman. I'm tired. Who wants a preacher at this time? No, no, he surrendered. How about opening up your house as a house fellowship center? How about allowing God to dwell in your house? And of course, how about allowing God to take over your entire life? Surrender to him. He will surprise you. So if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, very quickly, come forward now. I'm only going to count from one to five, and then I will pray for the salvation of your soul. And things will change. Things will change. That's what the Word of God says. If a man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things are passing away. Behold, all things have become new. Let's, let, let's leave him alone. Let him, let him. If you are coming, come quickly. I'm counting now. One. God will help your family. God, 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 God. God will help your family. Three.
ਫਾਰਿਆ 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 Now if on the way come very quickly those of you already in front talk to the almighty god ask him to have mercy on you ask him to save your soul the rest of us let's stretch our hands towards these people and intercede for them pray that the one who saved your soul will save their own souls call on him and ask him to wash them clean I have sent someone to you to ask what is your problem. Talk to that fellow. You understand? Can you hear? Talk to that fellow. Now let's pray for the people who are here and intercede that the almighty God will save their souls and wash them clean in his blood. Anyone else who wants to give his or her life to Jesus, come now. God is calling you. Oh thank you father Blessed be the name of the Lord In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Savior we worship you We thank you for your word We thank you for setting us up for miracles accept our thanks in Jesus name please these people who have come forward to surrender their life to you receive them oh lord save their souls let your blood wash away their sins give them a brand new beginning please lord write their names in the book of life and any time from now when they call on you answer them by fire thank you my father glory be to your name And Lord God Almighty this morning as your children will be worshiping you I pray that you will deliver them from all their enemies that from today onward there will be no more failure and they will keep on succeeding thank you almighty God in Jesus mighty name we are prayed amen praise the lord now those of us who have come forward I rejoice with you. I want to promise you from now I'll be praying for you. So the counselors will be attending to you in a moment. They will collect your name, your address, and your prayer request. I promise you I'll be praying for you, okay? But I want you to wait for a moment. I want you to be part of the prayer. The rest of us are about to pray. How many of you are ready uh, for a very special miracle from God this morning? Let me hear you shout a big hallelujah. You're going to do two things. Number one, you are going to thank the Almighty God. You're going to bless him that you are even here or wherever you are listening that you are able to hear this word. And then you will cry to God one more time. Father, help me. And you will. Go ahead. Talk to the Almighty God. What was all praise him? Praise him from the bottom of your heart. And then call on him for help. He will. Help you. Open your mouth and thank him. Thank him as Daddy Gio has just said. I appreciate the Lord. for the journey of 212 days in year 2021 thank the lord thank him thank him 
for how far he has helped you, for how far he has brought you in the journey of life. You say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for my family. I thank you for over the church of God. I thank you for our nation. Thank you for faithfulness. Thank you for sound mind. Thank you for sound health. Thank you for provision. Glory be to your name, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Why not open your mouth? You know where you need the help of the Lord. Say, Father, help me. In this area, arise for my help. Help me, Lord. Like never before, help me, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus, Father, help me. Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. The Lord will arise for your help. Amen. He will raise helper for you. Amen. And by this time next month, you will have testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 26 says, Lamentation 3 26 says, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Somebody is here, you will hope, your hope in him will not be cut off. Amen. You will wait patiently for him, and he will arise on your behalf. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said this month, the Lord will arise on your behalf. Amen. In concerning that issue, he will arise for your help. Amen. Your hope and your expectation of him will not be cut off in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to lift your hands to heaven and say, Oh Lord my God. Give me the grace both to hope and wait patiently upon you for the manifestation of my testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to hope and to wait patiently upon you, Father, release upon me in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, righteous Lord. Release that grace. To hope and to wait patiently upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Brethren, before we go into the thanksgiving proper, the Bible tells us in the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 5 says, And hope make it not ashamed. Let me read it again. I think it ju let's just limit it to 5A. And hope make it not a shame. Because the number 8 is a number of new beginning. And as my wife said earlier on during the opening prayer, it will be a new beginning of his glory in your life, in my life, in his, in his church, in the name of Jesus. Amen. But one thing that can destroy or bring a cause to the glory of God, it's shame. In this month, you will not suffer shame. Amen. In any area of life that you have suffered shame before, the Lord is turning the table for you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father, by your mercy and your grace, I will not be put to shame. Oh, this month in the mighty name of Jesus, I will not be put to shame. My family will not be put to shame. I will not be ridiculed in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be put to shame. I will not be put to shame. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, righteous Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We are going to cry to the almighty God. You know, today is the first day, first day in the as first day of the month, we normally have to start the month with Jesus. Because it's a Sunday, we couldn't come here by 6 a.m. So, we just do that now. You're going to cry to the Almighty God and say, Oh Lord, my God, oh Lord my God, this month, don't let me find myself in situation and position that I will not be able to explain myself. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. In, in situation and position that they, they will ask me, what are you doing there? That I will put my hand 
Oh, at my back and I will not be able to say a word. Don't let me find myself in such situation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. That prayer might look very ordinary. But ask people that have been confronted with things that they cannot deny. And it's so shameful. But I pray for you even as I pray for myself. This month, wherever we go, we will not find ourselves in a position of compromise. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. You want to cry to the Almighty God and say, Father, Father. by your mercy and your grace, this month, I will not be a victim of any circumstance. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not enter a one chance boss. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my destiny ever will locate me. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Everything that you have set for me, oh, to do in my life this month, I will not miss any one of them. I will not miss any one of them. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. It is so in Jesus' name. Brethren, I want you to close your eyes. That the G.O. I just preach a wonderful message. No more labor loss. But it will be of no use if you come to such a service as a sinner. And you go back home as a sinner. God is giving you a second chance. You are in this congregation. You have not given your life to Jesus. Don't go home the same way. Why not just carry your bundle, your burden and the, bond, the, the, the load that you have brought here? Why not just drop it at his altar this morning and surrender your life to him and see what he can do in the life of a man? It doesn't matter what your, te your story has been. It will turn your story around. It will make a testimony out of your stories in the mighty name of Jesus. You are here this morning. We don't have time any longer. You want to give your life to Jesus? Just come forward quickly. Come forward quickly wherever you are. It's not time to raise up your hand. It's not time to be ashamed. Once I gave my life to, to Jesus, and God set me free from every bondage. Somebody is here. Jesus wants to set you free. Ah, uh, if only you will not turn your back against him and you will surrender yourself to him. You are here. You have not given your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, I just want your hands up and I will pray for you from here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My brother, raise that hand up well. Jesus is saying you don't be, don't look at anybody. If you want to raise it up, raise it up and raise it up. Let the devil be ashamed. We have prayed you will not be put to shame this month. Is there anybody joining my brother? Yes. Just lift that hand. Father, we want to thank you for your son. We thank you for you too. The two of you just come forward. Come forward. Come forward. As you raise that hand, just come forward. As you are raising up the hand, come forward. Just come forward. Ushers, please help me. Get them here. And say after me quickly. Our sister, you are joining, then just come forward. Just say after me, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. I have come this morning. I acknowledge my sin. I confess that my ways are not right before you. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me all my sins. This morning, I accept you into my life as my Lord. I accept you as my Savior. Wash away all my sins and write my name in the book of life. Release upon me the grace to go and sin no more. In the mighty name of Jesus, give me a new beginning of your new wave of glory. Let the word and my story, the word of my mouth and the story of my life change for better from today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Daddy, we want to thank you for the life of your children. Daddy, we thank you, Lord, 
in this new beginning, you have added this one even to your fold. We pray, O oh Lord, that you will release the grace never to go back to their vomit upon them in the name of Jesus. You will uphold them. You will strengthen them. You will keep them to your coming in the name of Jesus. Every area that they need help, every area of need in their life, Father Lord, go by your mercy. Oh, you met the need of Peter. You will meet their needs in the mighty name of Jesus. In a special way, from things that they never could believe something could come out of. Father, Lord God, that which you did, you, you, you did in the life of Peter, do in their life in the mighty name of Jesus. Surprise them beyond their imagination in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Uh, my sisters and my brother, God bless you. Something special has just happened in your life. You are not going the same way you have come. So I want you to just quickly meet our sister, raising her hands up there. Meet them there. They will quickly take your details and pray with you. And then you'll come back to the church. Just go. You can carry your Bible if you want to carry. Just go and join them. God bless you. Please, let's be upstanding. Choir, please. Quickly, for the next five minutes. It's a new beginning. It's a great Thanksgiving service for us. God has done great things unto us. So I want you to just celebrate Jesus in your life and in the life of the church this morning. So choir, for five minutes, we are going to dance, we are going to rejoice before I start calling for Thanksgiving. Hallelujah. So can you please be on your feet and tell your neighbor, come and see what God has done for me. Hallelujah. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrow and I'm free. I got my poor hallelujah, poor. Hey, hey, I got my poor hallelujah, poor. Tell you, never come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away. He has taken away my sorrow and I'm free. I got my poor hallelujah, poor. I got my poor hallelujah, I got my poor hallelujah. Because of Jesus every day. Because of Jesus every day. Double a 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 double You are the 
sure it's like people are not singing. Say, I'll raise the banner. Everybody, my God has come down the bay. Come on, raise the banner. If I call to him, he will answer. If I run to him, he will run to lift my voice. He will lift Come and praise his name. Are you ready, everybody? All sing, all sing. Because he leaves everybody say That's what he just said special in their lives and thereafter we have a child dedication before we pray for the August children thereafter okay so ushers please help me carry the basket around let's get our general Thanksgiving offering ready praise the Lord so choir hallelujah Hallelujah. to God with your dancing. Please don't sit down. We are talking about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords that the Geo said we should do what? Praise him. So don't you can't praise God sitting down. Okay, choir. My God is a miracle God. Hey! My God is a miracle God. Hey. He has never failed. He will never fail. He will do what I promised to do. He will do what he promised to do. My God. My God is a miracle God. Hallelujah. My God is a miracle God. My God. My God is a miracle God. Hallelujah. My God is a miracle God. 
special in your life, possibly it's your birth month, or your wedding anniversary, or your promotion month, whatever you have considered special in your life that you want to thank him for, you alone should dance forward. Amen. Choir. Hallelujah. 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 Bojeni olo duro mi wa ti ma sarao Bojeni olo duro mi wa ti ma ti reko Oni duro mi e everybody say Oni duro mi e shewo Kalele Oni duro mi e shewo Eh Bojeni olo duro mi wa ti ma sarao Eh Bojeni olo duro mi wa ti sarao Eh Bojeni olo duro mi wa ti ma ti reko Son, Amen. and name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
daddy, your children standing before the altar, they are thanking you for that which you have done for them. That is special unto them. Daddy, this is their offering before you, Lord. We ask, Lord, that which you have, that they have come before you before as special, you will cause it to remain special. Amen. Daddy, we ask, Lord, that that which is special, oh Lord, you will amplify it. Amen. That by this time next month, when they will come, it will be much bigger. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we ask, oh Lord, that you accept the special thanksgiving offering. You will bless it and you will cause it to be used for your glory. Oh, your children, Lord, seal that which is special with a seal from heaven and let it forever remain special in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. So shall it be, it is so in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's quickly go back to our seat. It's well with you. Quickly, we are going to dedicate our baby, so one of the moments you please help me make the Olua Legon and carry their baby forward. Choir, please. Hallelujah. Hooray, Larry. I do pay, Baba. Hooray, I know, Ray. Nick, but I am. Hang in love for me. Nick, but I will woman.
Baba Olomo and the Yalomo dancing and dancing and they don't want us to go home. Okay, no problem. We now transfer the dedication to your house. So you can dance from here to your house. The Lord bless you. The Lord will honor you. Um, normally when we do dedication, we don't call the name of the baby. But this is special. Um, we will call the name of the baby. Even as we dedicate her unto the almighty God. Um, for special reason, that's why we do it. So, in the church, we don't. When we dedicate a baby, it's different from when we name a baby. When we name, we name. But we are going to re-emphasize the name that has been given to our daughter today, here. Even as we dedicate her in the name of the Father, Amen. name of the Son, Amen. name of the Holy Spirit, Amen. we dedicate you this morning on the first day of the month of August year 2021. We pray that by the reason of this dedication, it will usher a new beginning Amen. into your family. Amen. You will usher a new divine order Amen. into your family Amen. in the name of the Father, Amen. the name of the Son, Amen. the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We dedicate you in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray, Lord, that every name that has been given to you by your parents, every time they are called, you will come answer from among the leaders of your generation. Amen. You will outlive every of the names. Amen. Their meaning will have impact in your life. Amen. Daddy, we dedicate your daughter in your name. The Trinity in Council, we ask, Lord, if there is any dedication before now that has been done on any strange altar, physically, spiritually, with the knowledge of the parent or without their knowledge, we stand on the rock that is Christ Jesus and we nullify every such dedication yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Daddy, we soak every name that has been given to your daughter in the blood of Jesus. Of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that the names, they will have impact. Amen. Every time the names are called, the meaning of the name will make sense to your daughter. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And this morning, we call your name Tiwalokwe Ikeolua Success, success. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Oluwa Timilei, Oluwa Folakemi, the daughter of sister and brother Oluwa Legon. So shall it be. It is so in Jesus' name. God bless you. We pray for the mother and the father. The mother, every water that needs to go out of your body will go out peacefully. Amen. Every blood that needs to go out, they will go out peacefully. Amen. Every sickness, cause sickness after childbirth, will not be your portion in the Amen. name of Jesus. Oh, the father of the house, we pray for you. Everything that you need to be a daddy indeed, heaven will release upon you. Amen. We pray as this one is an addition, it will not be a subtraction for you. The Lord will honor his word in your life. Amen. And by the reason of Olua Folakemi, the Lord will draw both of you closer unto himself. Amen. And you become a vessel of honor Amen. unto him in the name of the Father, Amen. the name of the Son, Amen. the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So shall it be the soul in Jesus' name. Amen. So the, the two of you come forward. Let me move forward. So the two of you will raise, just stretch forth your hands and she, she will hand it over to the two of you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will help you to nurse the baby to maturity in Jesus' name. God bless you. Praise the Lord. The August boys and girls, please quickly come. And while the other, they, they are bringing the cake, let's listen to the following announcement. As you've heard that the GO mentioned it, the convention starts from tomorrow. And for the ministers, if you are a minister in the house, the ministers' conference starts tonight by 8 p.m. 
So please, let's find our way to the camp. Amen. There will be no communion service tonight here because of the minister's conference. So by next month, we'll be having a very special communion. But you can join us even if you are not at the camp on Saturday. In the evening of Saturday, we'll be taking communion at the camp. So you can join through YouTube, through Facebook, through the uh, Dove TV. So communion is part and parcel of the package that Lord asked for you. As you do it in remembrance of me. He said we should do it. What do you remember Jesus for? Every time you go for communion, you must remember him. He said that, that he put shame to shame in the life of the couple in John chapter 2. If you remember him for that. Oh, how he put death to shame in the life of Lazarus. Remember him. Or that woman that was twisted. I don't know whether your pocket is twisted or anything that has been bent low. God wants to raise your head up as you go to take the communion. The Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. There will be no midweek service this week. There will be no digging deep on Tuesday. There will be no faith clinic on Thursday. So please, if you come, if the technical team are viewing from here, you can join them to view, but there will be no program here. Everything is from the national this week. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Um, we still trusting God and we believe in God that God will complete the work he has started at Unity Parish. August, boys and girls, please come forward. Come forward. If you are born in the month of August, just come forward. Praise the Lord. So, as many that want to support the church of God on what is being done at Ogombo, please the account number is always displayed. Please just be there. I mean, be there for the church and the Lord will remember, honor you in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Uh, while we are waiting for the August boys and girls to come, uh, effective from today, our church has become a mega church. And uh, we are now mega three uh, zona headquarters under Lagos Province 88. The Lord will help us. The Lord will strengthen us. To whom much is given, much more is expected. And the responsibility that comes with the zona headquarters, the Lord will help us to meet them and even surpass them in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Next Sunday, we'll have service here, and it's going to be a victory service. So please make sure you come with somebody, and as you come, the Lord will bless you. And very soon we'll be letting you know we we'll go back to our two services as the Lord give us grace very soon. Praise the Lord. The August girls and boys shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Are they not boys and girls? Can you see anybody that's gray, older than Daddy Gio there? Nobody. I cannot even see anybody with gray hair here. So they are all boys and girls. God bless you. So what do you want to cut your cake with this morning? Or this afternoon, sorry. Favor. 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 Okay. So August, children want to cut. Don't worry, next month is September. <laughs> or we'll tell you what we will cut it with. Okay, so quickly, we're going to spare favor, and then they will call their cake. So for me, please give me an F. A, A. V, v. O, o. U. Are and from the, the chorister, I've just for my hand. Can you pronounce it? Favor. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Please just face me as we pray. Daddy, we want to thank you for our children. These are the one born in the month of August. August is the eighth month, and eight is a number of new beginning. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will usher this one to a new beginning Amen. of greater glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Eight is a number of hope. Father, Lord God, I pray, O oh Lord, their hope in you will not be cut off Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Eight is a number of a brighter future. I pray for you prophetically your future will be great. Amen. You will not fail in the place of destiny. Amen. 
everything that you need to fulfill your purpose and destiny in life that heaven has released to you, you will not misuse it. Yeah. Every grace that God has made available to you, you will use them to the glory and honor of God yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So shall it be. Yeah. Are there anyone among you not seen any sickness by the mercy of God this morning an end comes to such sickness yeah. in the name of Jesus? Is there anyone among you that is down in spirit, depressed? Father, Lord God, you are the restorer of hope. Father, Lord God, restore such in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, make way for them. Amen. And let them be back here. Amen. Even to come and thank you specially. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. the name of the Son, Amen. the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So shall it be is so in Jesus name God bless you let's go back to our seat it is getting better so please just bear with us we are running up now we are supposed to finish by 12 but I think Happy new month to you all and welcome to the month of August, which is the month of new beginning. In this month, protocols shall be broken, tides will change and there will be surge of power of the miraculous in our lives, families and all that concerns us in Jesus name. Amen. Please listen to the following announcements. Every Tuesday is our Digging Deep. It starts at 6.30pm to 8pm. Digging Deep is where we come to learn and know more about God. Every Thursday is our faith clinic and it starts at 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Monthly programs. Start the month with Jesus starts at 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. every first day of the month. Every first Sunday of the month is our Thanksgiving service. Every second Sunday of the month is our victory service. Every last Sunday of the month is our power service. Hour of Mercy holds every third Wednesday of the month and it starts at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monthly evangelism holds every last Saturday of the month, which starts at 9 a.m. Kindly visit the Medical CSR Center in front of the church auditorium under the carport for an on-spot medical checkup one hour after the service. Please visit the welfare desk in front of the children's church for all welfare-related support. House fellowship holds every Sunday at 5 p.m. at our various house fellowship centers. Where will you be from the 2nd to 8th of August? Of course, at our 69th annual convention, and the theme is A New Wave of Glory. Ministering is Pastor E.E. Adeboye and other anointed men of God. Don't miss out of this convention because God might be waiting to give you a new wave of glory. Thank you. On behalf of the pastorate, stay blessed. Hello, Pastor. Hi. This is Wally Daddy Virite. My brother. Morning, sir. Good morning. Can I speak with Daddy, please? Yeah. Hello, Daddy. Hi. Morning, sir. Son. Daddy. Long time. I stayed away, sir. Why? I didn't want to disturb your calling with my call. <laughs> my daddy laughed. Because you made me laugh. Uh-huh. Raise your hand. Okay. God bless you. Amen. What can I do for you, sir? Pray for me. Okay, please raise your hand, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have raised it. Can you see my hand? No, but I trust you. Okay. I pray for you, Daddy. Am I prayerful, sir? Ami. Ati Ami. Fire. I'm coming to you for more blessings. Where? At the 69th annual convention. Where? At the redemption camp. When? Someone said it's starting next week. That is true. When is it starting next week, sir? Monday. August 2? Yes. Till Sunday, August 8th? Yes. I know you will bless people at the convention. No. So who will, sir? God himself. Can I announce this? Announce it. One more question, sir. Ask. Will there be... Rise the way at the convention. <sighs> we move.
Lord Jesus. Amen. We are blessed. Give Jesus a clap of free. Amen. In a short while, we'll be going to our various homes. But before then, we have some special people that are in our midst that we need to acknowledge their presence for a warm welcome. So, if today happens to be your first time of fellowshipping with us in this sanctuary, wherever you are seated, please be on your feet. So, please go further. Take your bags, your Bible, and all that you brought to church this morning, and come stand in front of the altar, please. Choir, please. Church of God, he reigns assembly, my place of comfort. You have come at a very right time. And I pray as you have come, no more labor loss in your lives, in Jesus' name. So church, please stretch forth your hands and join me to pray for them. Asking God to bless them with whatever you pray for them, you pray for yourself too. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Father in heaven, Lord, we bless your holy name for these children of yours that you have ordered their footsteps into the sanctuary this morning. Father, as they have come, you are the only one that knows their various needs. You know what they are passing through. Father, we are asking, Lord, you elevate them from every form of problems in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are working or many are doing businesses, they will not suffer any labor loss again in the name of Jesus. As many that are still downcast, Father, uplift them. As many as are burdened, roll away their burdens, Lord, and uplift them, Lord, to, the, to a new wave of glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, King of Glory, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. You see that mommy in blue? Just go with her. She will take down your details and tell you one or two things. So let's jam our palms for Jesus. Let's jam our palms for Jesus. Amen. Shall we be on our feet as we declare Psalm 91? Please let's declare it meaningfully and prayerfully. Want to go? I that dwell, praise God, praise God. Technical, we are having he. Okay, try as much to personalize it as you read it. Praise God. Can, can you do it like that? I that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wing shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, by by day, of the, the pestilence that walketh, uh -huh, to fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but he shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked, because I have made the Lord 
which is my refuge. I'm the most high, my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon the Lord, therefore will he deliver me. He will set me high, because I have known his name. I shall call upon him, and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble. He will deliver me and honor me. With long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. May the Lord bless his holy words in your heart in Jesus' name. The anthem, please. Father, the King of glory, the Lord of hosts, thank you, Father, for seeing us through today's service. Thank you for giving each and every one of us, Lord God Almighty, the grace to live to see the 1st of August. Father, thank you because you that began a good thing in our lives, you will not forsake us nor leave us. As you have brought us this far, Father, go ahead of us into the month of August. Go ahead of us, Lord, and fight our battles in the name of Jesus. All God shall be a month of success for us in Jesus' name. Amen. We shall find divine favor in the month of August in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Almighty God shall uphold each and every one of us. We will not see sorrow, we will not see evil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every day of August 2021, the Almighty God will order our footsteps. Amen. We will not enter one chance vehicle. Amen. We will not be robbed. Amen. We will not die. We will not be admitted into the hospital. Amen. No one will run her us get on our behalf Amen. in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Father, we thank you because we have all declared what our God should be for us. Because we are a faithful God, it shall come to pass in the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and fellowship. Surely, personalize it. God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Thank you.